Today's video is about magnetic paint. Yep, you heard me right, magnetic paint. And I'm gonna tell you all about it and how to use it, coming up next. One of the first things I noticed as I took the paint out of the box was how incredibly heavy this can of paint is. And as I read the label, I, well, I came across this, and that is this paint contains magnetic nanoparticles. And that's the reason why the paint is both magnetic and extremely heavy. Now before we get started, I've got to open up this paint and i got to make sure that I mix it very, very thoroughly. In addition to being incredibly heavy, the paint is incredibly, incredibly thick. Now I've just got an ordinary piece of drywall here. That's what we're going to use to test our paint out on. We'll see just how well this stuff works. Now this is the tool that I'm gonna use. This is a hot dog roller, and this sleeve here is a foam nap sleeve. And we're gonna apply the paint very thin, and we're gonna apply at least three coats. Because the more coats you apply, the stronger the magnetic surface will be. Because you gotta remember, this is a primer, and it's gonna rest beneath the surface of our top coat. Okay, I've applied my first coat, it's dry, and now it's time to apply my second coat. So here's our drywall. I've painted it three times. It has three coats. That's really, really important because with each coat, it really intensifies or increases the paint's ability to hold magnets. So now it's time to apply our top coat to the surface of the drywall. I just applied two coats of just regular latex paint on top of our magnetic paint. Okay, our top coat is dry. Now it's time to test it. Now ceramic magnets will work, but you don't want to go with these because they tend to be very, very weak magnets. What you want to use is you want to use these right here. This is what's called a rare earth magnet, and they have a lot of holding power, and that's exactly what you want. Let's see just how magnetic the surface is. Oh, wow, that's pretty good, huh? Now it's one thing to place magnets on a wall, okay? They're not holding anything. So why don't we attach them to something that, well, has a little weight to see how well this magnetic paint performs. Now how we're gonna test the strength of the magnetic paint is I've purchased a picture frame here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna place the rare earth magnets here on the picture frame to see, well, how well our surface holds something, well, that's got some weight to it, like this picture frame here. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's give this a shot. I'm gonna stick it up on the wall and we'll just see how well this works. Okay, so it works, but I gotta tell you this quite honestly, I'm not certain that this is the way to go about hanging pictures on a wall. I'm not certain that I would trust the magnets with, well, a valuable picture. I think that it's really meant I think it's really meant for, you know, attaching things that don't really carry a lot of weight, like, well, papers. Now, at the end of the day, I really believe that this magnetic paint is really intended for light-duty stuff. You know, I don't think it's really intended to hang pictures with. I think it's really meant for, like, maybe a child's room. Maybe you want to do a wall in this magnetic paint so your son or daughter can post, like, little notes up on the wall or refrigerator magnets or magnets. Now, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check this out for yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.